Now that you have your media organized within iMovie, uh, you could start focusing on the other features, including the organization. Uh, for instance, I have all these pictures down here, but maybe I want this, uh, the cover page picture, to go first. I simply just click on it and move it. Um, maybe I want, notice how when I drag over it, you get an idea of what's happening. The pictures don't stay stagnant. They move. That's called the Ken Burns effect. So if I want to change that, I, I can do a couple of features. Notice how I'm clicking on this eye. That's the clip information. If I wanted to linger for a little bit longer, say five seconds, I can just hit five and press return. Right now, the preset might be three seconds or four seconds. Um, also, if I don't like the way that it's cropped right now, I can click on that rect rectangle. And right now, it's on Ken Burns. If I press fit, the picture will be stagnant and won't move. Uh, I do like the moving feature. Notice one box says start and the other box says end. Say I want a, the picture to start up at where it says mosaic code breakers and end down by the turtles. Um, the, the further spaced out I put it, the faster it's going to go through the loop. So if I want it to go a little slower, I could press play. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll get an idea how that looks. Notice that's a little slower. Um, so assuming that you play around with that, you can take a, a couple minutes to look at that. Uh, if, if you like the way it appears, you can start focusing on uh, other transitions. For instance, um, titles. If I want to put in a title, you can see there are all these different uh, presets of titles. Um, I like... No, let's just say I like that. I could just click on that and drag it down to the drop zone. Notice how it went all the way in the back. I didn't want that. I, w I want it in the front. And I'm simply going to click on that box. And now I can go up um, and theme mosaic. fifth grade project. If I don't want this part here, I can simply just delete it. So that's four seconds. And now anytime I want it to play, you can see this white line moving. If I drag that back at the beginning, it'll play from the beginning. And I could press pause here. Um, but this kind of white line controls where uh, the screen is going to show in the video. So if I want to uh, add in um, a transition, what that does is it kind of just spaces out. Um, it's like a half second and you could change that too. But if I drop that between photos, now I'm going to move the white cursor here. If you press the space bar, that's another trick to get it to just play automatically. Theme Mosaics, a fifth grade project. Now watch right after this, you can see the white line, it's going to make it spin. That was the transition I chose. Um, and everything is a little bit delayed because I'm also recording it in the process. Um, I do want it to fade to white when it gets to this video of me, and I'll make it fade to white afterwards. So spend some time putting in the transitions. Also, if you want to um, add any text, if I want the text to be on the photo, um, you can actually, I'm going to just show you this, and then um, that'll be it for this video tutorial. You can take it and drag it right on top of the photo, and it will look like this. Um, and now I can actually write, and it will show up over the photo. And, and you can change the font. You can change the color. Um, let's just say I want it pink. Maybe I want it to pop more. And um, of course, I can make it bold if I want in the background. So now, let me just show you. I'm going to click the cursor right here, press the space bar, and it's going to you'll see the transition pop in. And you'll see that it says uh, peace. 
Um, so you can, and if you didn't get exactly where you want, just click on it and just pull it to wherever uh, you want that text to appear.